Well, the controversy surrounding alleged abuse inside the Gwinnett County Jail just got a whole lot bigger. Yeah. 75 current and former inmates filed suit this week complaining they were subjected to, quote, gratuitous pain. Uh, Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis began investigating the jail's rapid response team more than five years ago mm -hmm. and is here now with new developments. Randy. Yeah, Russell Sine, many of these plaintiffs suffered from mental health issues, which are detailed in the new lawsuit. They argue there was no good reason for the rapid response team to tackle them or put them in restraint chairs. What happened to this woman has already led to a criminal case and a federal investigation. Ms. Clark. As the Gwinnett County Jail's rapid response team prepared to rush into Shelby Clark's cell last August, Sheriff Butch Conway was already fighting a lawsuit from a dozen former inmates claiming they'd been abused. <laughs> now add Clark to that list of plaintiffs. <laughs> the 26-year-old Bethlehem resident would wind up with a badly bruised eye, and the deputy who struck her later charged with criminal battery. Aaron Masters resigned the same day. Nobody should deserve to get hit like that. But no matter what you do, nobody should deserve to get hit like that. This week, Clark and 74 other current and former inmates filed their own lawsuit against Sheriff Conway and Lieutenant Colonel Carl Sims, who once commanded the rapid response team. All of them complaining they were subjected to unreasonable, unnecessary, and gratuitous pain, even though they were not posing a threat to the safety of themselves or others. That's two pending lawsuits now facing Gwinnett County. The inmates plan to use the sheriff's own videos to show, just like the original plaintiffs, they were calm and compliant in the minutes leading up to the rapid response team's rush into their cell. Some would be forced to sit in a restraint chair for hours, unable to move or use the toilet. Neither Conway nor Sims would talk on camera, but in a statement, the sheriff said, an independent expert familiar with these matters reviewed our practices four years ago, and we are confident that the rapid response team has been acting well within legal bounds while protecting the institutional security of the Gwinnett County Jail and minimizing injuries to inmates and deputies alike. Here's what the sheriff told me in early 2015 when we reported on the first lawsuit. We have inmates that come in here on alcohol, drugs, with mental problems that you can't control without the use of force. You look at that and you say, well, why did you need the RRT when the guy was already quiet? Right, and that's something we've changed since this lawsuit and since you're airing some of the video footage and asking that question. But the restraint chairs are still in use, as is the rapid response team. The sheriff did order his deputies to start their recording earlier before entering a cell. Despite that change, Gwinnett County now faces a criminal investigation. This summer, a federal grand jury subpoenaed all rapid response team records and videos from 2016 on. That includes the incident that left a black eye on Shelby Clark and this department. The first lawsuit is expected to go to trial next year. A federal judge denied a request to make this a class action case and have all the inmates heard at one time. So now we're up to 87 inmates. Wow, that incident with Shelby Clark, it looks like she really took a beating. How is she doing now? Well, she's still in the Gwinnett County Jail. Uh, she's being held on a misdemeanor uh, a charge. That was the original charge, but a judge wouldn't let her uh, bond out until her family could find a mental health facility to take her, and the family says we can't. So she remains in the jail, and her, her lawyer says that she suffered some partial vision damage to that eye. By the way, he says uh, more plaintiffs are on the way, so 87 may only be the beginning here. Yeah, we could see her banging her head against the wall. I mean, people with mental illness often can't control the way they're behaving. It didn't look like she was a threat. Well, most of the plaintiffs in this latest lawsuit, Russ, do suffer from mental illness. That's very well detailed in the lawsuit. Yeah. Thank you, Randy. Okay, thanks, Randy.